So we have the machine here running. We're getting ready to load the filament in it. I do actually have the roll that came with it. This is the Snapmaker PLA 175 millimeter uh, black. So we're going to take and get the end of this prepped and ready to insert. Half stick it back on there so it's ready in a minute. So on the dial here, it says load filament. I am using their filament, so should be fine. Hit next. Please set up the nozzle temperature before changing filament. The nozzle will be heated up to 200 degrees Celsius by default. Confirm. You can see it's heating up. Just gonna set this back down and wait for it to hit the temperature. Shouldn't take too long. Over halfway there. In the toolbox that they included in the package, I grabbed their pair of snips. That nice, soft, yet firm, not cushiony rubber handles on them. Alright, 176. Seems to have stopped right about five degrees below it. All right, done. Awesome. You have completed the initial setup of 3D printing. Now you can prepare the G code file using Snapmaker Lubin and start printing. Got it. Make something wonderful. Okay, the nozzle temperature is dropping back down. We're going to go ahead and say start. This is where we need to have a file that's generated by the Snapmaker software on your laptop linked to here through the Wi Fi. So you have to set up the Wi Fi connection on your laptop and download the software and then connect it via the Wi Fi. Or you can do it manually. I prefer the Wi Fi setup though. So that's it for now. Have everything ready to go. PLA is ready to be loaded. The machine is ready to work. We're going to get into a next video here. Try to get at least a small printout tonight and see exactly how good this is on high quality. Thanks for watching. We'll have another video up soon.